Well, you guys got another video on how to disable internet connection without disabling the LAN network. That's what we're going to be talking about today. This video was requested by Bobby, sent me an email. I think he said he's got an older system uh, that is not compatible for Windows 11. He wants to be able to put it on there and use it on his local network, but not connect to the internet. So this is basically how you can do it. You can see I've got connectivity to all of the computers on this little network here that I've got set up. And what I'll do is I'll show you how to quite easily disable the internet. So if you don't want to be able to use the internet, this is one of the ways that you can do it. I'll show you two ways, but there is uh, some other methods you can use, but this is quite useful. But first, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, then check out the links in the video description and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD key sales. They will send you your key and then you can activate your version of Windows just like you see on the screen right now. Okay, so let's get back to the tutorial and take a look at what you can do. So hit the start button here and go to control panel. Inside your control panel here, what you're going to need to do is go to network and internet. And inside here, you'll see network and sharing center. Click on this one. And once this is open right here, you want to go over to the left hand side and change adapter settings right here. So click on this and this will give you your adapter here. You can see it's an Ethernet connection and we're going to uh, double click on this. And this will open up this little window here. What you want to do here is go to properties. And then once this is open, come down to where it says Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IP version 4. But if you're using TCP IP version 6, which is your Internet Protocol version 6, then by all means change those settings. But once you do this, click on it and you'll see there is an option to use the following DNS server address. You can do this right here. And all you need to do here is basically put in some DNS server that is not being recognized or not used. And what it will do is it will force the system not to uh, basically connect to the internet because you're disabling the DNS here. So this is one method to do it. I'll show you a better way of doing it. But basically what you can do is once you've done this, if you go to the internet, you'll see that uh, you won't be able to connect to the internet, but your network stuff should be still visible. So let me quickly do a quick search here and you'll see that it's not going to connect because we give it a uh, bogus DNS server and it's not going to allow you to connect to the internet. But once you, on your local network, if you're say sharing stuff across your local network, all of that should still be shareable on your local network. All you've done here is just change the DNS server to stop it connecting and uh, let me just see here so you can see it says hmm we can't reach this page and that's because the dns server address has been changed to one that is not working but if you head over to your uh, network shares here go to the network tab here and you will see that your network devices should be still visible and you can still connect to them because obviously all you've done is just change the dns server uh, but that's one way of doing it. Let me go back to control panel here and back into network and internet and network and share center. And we're going to turn this off and I'll show you a, probably a better way of doing it. Uh, so let me just go ahead and double click on this, go back to properties. And what we're going to do here is just go back and put this to obtain the DNS server address automatically. And that's now done. So we're back to normal. Uh, another way you can do it, which is probably... A much more preferred way of doing it so go to your start button here and from here go to internet options so just type internet options here and open up the internet options panel and what from there what you can do is this little box will pop up right here so inside here we're looking for the connections uh, tab go there and go to the land settings tab right here click on this one and now you can see it says automatically detect settings, but there's a use proxy server for LAN. And you can see these settings will not apply to dial-up or VPN connections. Just give this an address of 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 and a port of 80. And uh, some old malware used to do this to stop the internet from working, but basically you can do this and click OK. And if you want to hide that 
land settings there to stop anyone from changing it back you can do a quickly show you that as well so you'll be able to see so if you go to the internet now and, and check it you'll see that it's not going to be able to connect because we've got a, a dns of 0 .0 0.0.0.0 .0. but let me go to uh, group policy editor here and quickly disable that land settings tab to stop it being uh, changed or tampered with so if you wanted to stop people from tampering it to stop say young kids getting on the internet you can do so all you need to do here is go into the administrator templates here go down to windows components and then from here open this up a little bit so we can see and then come down a little bit further here and what you're looking for is internet explorer on the right hand side here you can see we do have some options available to us here and what we want to look for here there is an actual setting that you can change here there's internet settings here as well and you can mess around with some of these settings to lock it down a bit more but we're just going to go into internet explorer here and come down to where it says disable changing connection settings so double click on this one right here and once this box pops up here just give this enable put the radio button in there and what this is going to do is stop you from completely uh, tampering with those settings you can actually lock it right down and stop people uh, touching that settings if you want to so let's go back into internet options again and you'll see once we go inside here and go to the connections tab here you'll see that it will be grayed out now and you won't be able to go into here and change it and it's locked down so that's how you can do it you can see some settings are managed by your system administrator so that's basically how you would lock that down and again if you went onto the internet now you'll see this will react a lot more quicker than the other way you see straight away you can say you're not connected so this is probably the more preferred way of doing it and uh, this will stop you from actually connecting out now there is more advanced ways of completely blocking uh, all of the internet connectivity as well but that will require going into either group policy and setting up inside there a bunch of uh, you know dns servers and also ip addresses and things like that uh, but that's much more complex and a much more in-depth video and i'm not sure there's going to be a lot of people that are going to want to be able to do this to their pc in any case so it's probably not worth making a video on that when this works perfectly fine for most people but you can see here uh, the download is not coming down here because obviously that dns server has been changed and it's just saying zero percent i'm not 100 percent sure whether it completely blocks uh windows updates altogether I haven't done any sort of testing on that because I've never really had to block on a normal home PC uh, for this particular purpose. So let's go ahead and uh, what I'll do here as well is I'll quickly show you inside uh, network and internet. There is an actual setting inside uh, here as well, which you can change if you didn't want to go into um, the other settings here. So I'll quickly show you that and then I'll show you the Windows firewall quickly. So you can see here, even with that setting there, we do have access to the uh, network items here available, uh, which is another computer on this network, and you can still click on that and be able to access it. And it's completely reversible as well, because obviously it's just a setting that you've put. So you just have to reverse what you put in there. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the Windows Firewall here. You can just type Windows Firewall, and open up the windows defender firewall and security here go to outbound rules and then new rule here i'm not going to set this up i just want to quickly show you where you would go into and do it yourself if you wanted to but basically you would come into this location here go down to custom and once you're in custom go next and then what you want to do is leave that to all programs go next again and from here you can leave that as is go next and from here come down to the bottom here where it says use these ip addresses then click on uh, add here and you're going to be adding in your ip addresses here so click add now come down to where it says this uh, address range from and to and you would put your ip addresses that you want to block for the outside uh, internet and again it will block it and go right through there's a bunch of them you can put inside here and you're pretty much good to go from there and it will block all of those other than that you're uh, pretty much good to go let me just quickly show you this last one here inside uh, network and internet here so you can actually see you can do it from the actual new windows 11 menu 
And from here, what you would do is go into settings and then go to network and internet. And from here, you go into proxy because there's a proxy setting right here and it says use a proxy server. Click on this, you would turn this on and you would use that 0.0.0, .0 and then 80 there and pretty much that's it. And you should be good to go from there if you wanted to do it in this location rather than internet options. But the options are yours and you can choose which way you want to do it or you can use the more complex uh, firewall and also group policy. If you want to see a video on that, let me know. If I get a good response out of this video, I'll make that video for you and have a more in-depth one for you if you wanted to. But other than that, I think that is going to be about it. That is basically how you can disable your internet connection uh, without disabling the LAN uh, network. And I uh, hope this video has been some sort of use to you, Bobby. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Whether you're tier one or tier two or tier three, I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.